and uh, many of us will remember playing statues when we were younger, but one man from Stockport's made a career out of it. Meet James Bond, world champion at, uh, well, standing still. Now, still to come in Northwest tonight. Back in the swim, the Lancashire teenager, almost knifed to death, continues her recovery. And still not shaken or stirred or anything at all. <laughs> we'll be talking to 007 later on. Lovely family. Uh, mm. We've got a guest in the studio, have you noticed? <laughs> uh, we've done some surreal stories on this programme at times, haven't we? But this, I think, is right up there. Way up there. Uh, with the best of them. James Bond here, a.k.a. Chris Clarkson from Stockport, has just been voted as the world's best living statue. No, you'd think it's all just about standing still for a very, very, very long time. But apparently there is much more to it. Now, he's not allowed to talk when he is in performance mode. So, if we want to talk to you, you better come on down. <laughs> yeah, hello. <laughs> hello. Excellent. Take a seat. Just, just take a look at him. It's so odd to see you close up. It's just weird, isn't it? It is. Well, have you got umpteen layers of paint on that suit? Uh, the jacket has got quite a few layers. It's got eight layers of masonry paint on it, um, similar on the trousers, but... Uh, yeah, the skin's just sort of one coat of makeup, really. So how on earth do you get into this being your career? It's so bonkers, isn't it? Well, um, I first started about three years ago when a friend of mine stupidly got pregnant and didn't fit into her costumes anymore. So I took over and actually really enjoyed it, and uh, I've been doing it ever since. So, so tell us then, I mean, it just looks to us like you just have to stand still <laughs> and somebody says you're world champion. What are these skills you need to well, have um, for a world champ? One of the common misconceptions about living statues is the fact that you just stand still. You don't. You're there to entertain people, so you have to move and uh, entertain the crowds or the audience. So you do change your pose from time to time, depending on the situation. And do you do that thing where if somebody puts a penny in the bucket, then you move? <laughs> um, Yes, I would do, but I don't actually busk, so... Uh, right, you I do really events and things, do you? Yeah, more the sort of corporate or the shopping centre. It must be really, scene. like, taxing on your body, though. That's what I always think. It, standing still is quite hard. It is. It's surprisingly difficult to stand still for 30 never, minutes. Because yeah. um, you're tense the whole time, you're not relaxed. Although you kind of go relaxed in your head, you're still very tense in the body. And all, yeah, because your arms are up, aren't they? It's like, yeah. it must be hard. Yeah, you try to avoid yeah, doing it. Yeah, don't, 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 don't. I mean, I'm fascinated by this uh, world championship mm. that you won. I mean, uh, how were you judged? What were they looking for? What were the judges well, um, looking for? The world championships happen every year in a town called Arnhem in the middle of Holland. Yeah, uh, the world champion itself, who isn't me, is chosen by a panel of judges from around the world. There's about five or six judges on the panel. Yeah. I won the award, um, the audience award, so the 300,000 people who were there on the event day itself. And what were they looking for? Oh, I don't know, to be entertained or well, a nice style or... And do an odd move. It's not who can stand still the longest. Oh, no, <laughs> it's not the odd competition. Move. Yeah, and just entertaining. Right. So I, I had my, uh, my water gun, here's my water PPK, as I like yeah. to call it, so I squirted. The, as many people as I could, pretty much. And uh, can you, can you reveal how you do that water thing, or is well, that a trade secret? Where, no? where, where are we? Over here. The, uh, there's a pipe going down there which goes up my arm and down my leg to a, a big reservoir of water. So it's a bit but of a... But sadly, you haven't got right. it, otherwise I'll get you to squirt him. But... <laughs> no, unfortunately <laughs> well, uh, not. Thank you. Uh, we'll leave it there. Thank you very okay, much. Thanks, thank you. Chris. Stay still again now, if yeah, you like. Yeah, thanks. Generally, I think to summarise the weekend, we could say it's going to be a dry weekend, sunny and bright, and please send us your photographs. Gordon, Ranveer. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, we're just, sorry. We're, we're just practising. <sighs> it is quite difficult, actually. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, amid all the excitement about London 2012, it may have escaped you that the Olympics are coming to Blackpool. This is a madder programme by the moment. <laughs> it's the Magic Olympics. The Magic Olympics. Statues, magicians, what's going on? The world's best will compete for some of the top prizes in show business. And Stuart Flinders now reports on the World Championships of Magic. Well... We thought, it's actually not that hard standing still, so we thought we'd make Eno do it. Right. Well, there she is, uh, absolutely still. Uh, no, what do you think? Judge Jo, I mean, how, how would she do? I think she's doing all right. She's blinking quite a lot, um, which isn't so good, but uh, <laughs> that, that, I think she looks great, to be that, honest. That was probably too much. That's more like yeah. a model, model pose. Yeah, she's a minute. mannequin more <laughs> than a statue. Yeah. Yeah. Is it very hard, Eno? Very, very difficult. Very. <laughs> Never answer a question. Day job, I think. <laughs> Quite brave in those heels as well so. to get on there. Well, you did jolly well. Uh, that's it. We'll leave it there. Very good evening. Try that at home. <laughs> Bye.